Hello everybody. Uh, today we will discuss, uh, we will we'll compare three different popular CMS, Strapi, Sanity and Contentful. <coughs> uh, I will try to answer uh, the questions that you can see on the right side of the screen. So why am I comparing these three? Uh, which one is the easiest to use in terms of user experience and developer experience? Uh, what will be the cost? Which one is more extensible? and which one is the best? So these are the questions I'm going to answer. So the first question is, who am I to judge? Uh, I actually have extensive experience with all three of these CMSs in different projects. And some of the projects are pretty serious. Uh, so that's why I thought of comparing these three so that it's easier to make a decision if you're trying to make that decision right now, because I had to go through a long research process to find out the best tool for the best situation uh, next uh, come to the uh, ease of use which one is the easiest to use short answer is contentful is the easiest to use so that's the short answer now what do i mean by easiest to use uh, it means it is very intuitive for a normal user to understand how contentful works so let me show you visually i'll show you all three and explain why contentful is the best or the easiest to use for a normal human being. So this is what Strapi looks like, Strapi dashboard. Uh, here you can see we can have different collection types, right? Basically, let's see if you have a blog, uh, you will have a blog collection type and you can add different contents there, right? And if you see the content type builder, so this is a place where you can actually create the content types. Now, one important thing to note here is you can only create a content type if you are running the Strapi project locally. <coughs> so Strapi is actually a proper Node.js project that you have to run locally. So this is the main reason why a normal user cannot, it is not easy for a non-developer to use Strapi because for creating the contents or content types, we have to depend on someone with who has some coding knowledge. So uh, this is what Strapi looks like. If we come to Sanity, it is same. So my personal portfolio is actually powered by Sanity. And as you can see, the UI, I don't like it very much. It's not very straightforward. <coughs> and as you can see, we do not have any kind of content type builder here. So it's actually OS in terms of user experience compared to Strapi. And it is the same. We have to have a local project where we create the content types. For example, if I want to say, okay, I need an article summary. I actually have to create these fields using code, right? And after I write the code, then these content types are generated. So it is even more developer dependent. So not easy for a normal user. If we go to content pool, you can see that you can actually create the content models yourself without writing any code. In fact, for running content full or creating a content full project, you do not have to write any code. You can basically do it yourself. So if you are someone who doesn't have no ex doesn't have any experience in development, then Contentful is the best choice for you because it will be the easiest for you to start with. Obviously, going forward, you have to connect the Contentful CMS to some kind of website provider or where your content will be shown. That is the technical part. But in general, user experience wise, Contentful is the best one. OK, so if I write Contentful here. The second thing, uh, developer experience. Which one has the most, uh, which one has the best developer experience? Uh, in, if I have to choose, I would choose Strapi in that case. Why I'm choosing Strapi? Because Strapi is more of a backend. It's not only just a CMS, you can actually do a lot of cool stuff with Strapi. It is very powerful, very extensible, and Strap is based on top of a relational database. So let's say MySQL or PostgreSQL, uh, which is a complicated thing to manage, but this gives Strapi, makes Strapi very powerful. You can actually create completely functional backend with all of the necessities for a project using just Strapi. In fact, I would argue that for most projects, for most medium size or smaller projects, you don't even need a backend if you use a Strapi. Right? There are very few use cases you cannot cover with Strapi. So the extensibility, 
uh, is the main reason that I would call Strapi uh, the best developer experience uh, CMS to choose from. Sanity is also very good. Uh, Sanity is also extensible, but Strapi is, has more power than Sanity. At least that's what my experience is in terms of uh, developer experience. Let's come to cost. Which one is the cheapest? Which one is the easiest? Which one fits your case? Uh, let me show you directly what are the pricing. So Sanity starts free. So if you're an individual, it's great. That's why I power my personal website using Sanity. I didn't have to pay anything to Sanity. Uh, it's zero dollar to start. And then it's also very reasonable going forward. And the next one is Strapi. Uh, Strapi actually start with 29 per month. So unfortunately, there is no free tier for Strapi. So if you're just thinking about building something simple, you have the option to self-host it. Uh, that's a that's another thing we can discuss in a separate video. But if you want a hosted solution, you have to pay if you're using Strapi. There are no free tier for Strapi. Contentful, it also has a good free tier. So it is it starts at zero. So <clears throat> if you are just creating a simple project for a simple client or your for your personal use, it's very good to start with. But the problem is if you want to build something serious, it directly jumps to $300 per month. But if you come to Strapi, you can see the next tier is actually 99. So the cost is actually um, important to keep in mind here. So it is very hard to pick one, which one has the best pricing model because these are very different solutions for very different scenarios. But if we have to pick one, I would say Sanity is the one which, which is the cheapest one. Extensibility, let's talk about extensibility. Uh, again, Strapi wins here. So let me write Strapi here and Strapi here for cost, I would say Sanity, right? So for extensibility, Strapi is great because as I said earlier, Strapi is actually more leaning towards a backend, a proper complete backend where you have actual tables, you can create relations between things, it provides you more powerful query structure. You can do complicated joins and everything. So basically, a fully functional backend. So, and also Strapi has a good plugin structure, which enables you to create your own plugins if you need anything. So if you visit Strapi, Strapi plugins, you will see that there are a lot of plugins already built out for you, your, you know, for your own use cases. I'm not saying the other one doesn't have any plugins. Uh, Sanity has its own plugins. Contentful also has some plugins. But Strapi has the more extensive collection of plugins or the most useful collection of plugins, in my opinion. And the best thing is, if you're a developer, you can actually build your own easily with Strapi, I would say, compared to Sanity. But they are kind of head to head. I'm not saying Strapi is way ahead than Sanity. But if we have to pick a winner, in terms of extensibility and usability and versatility, Strap is the winner for me. Uh, which one is the best one? Now comes the important question, which one is the best one? Again, uh, it may sound very <coughs> uh, generic, but yeah, it depends on your situation. So I'll just give you two scenarios. You are a developer and you are not a developer, right? If you are a developer, go with Strapi unless you have some cost concerns. If you have cost concerns, so if you care about cost, then choose Sanity. If you don't care about cost, choose Strapi. Otherwise, you choose Contentful, right? So that's basically it. Which one is best on? Every, everything is best. If you're a developer and do not care about cost, or uh, care about cost, then choose Sanity. If you do not care about cost or the little complexity, use Traffic. And if you're not a developer, Contentful, or if your CMS will be used by non-developers mostly, then Contentful is the best one to go start with. Thank you so much. Uh, hope it is it was helpful for you. At least uh, it was helpful for me in terms of doing the research and finding out the right tool for the right solution for each of these projects. Thank you so much and have a wonderful day. If you like this video, you can like it, subscribe, whatever. Thank you.